um yo guys welcome to another video so in this video guys it's a kind of a raw video it's a raw video so it's not scripted i would just be saying what i have to say right um so yeah guys as you read the title it says starting all over right um what i mean by starting all over i don't mean in terms of like everything i don't i don't mean like <clears throat> strategy wise or something what I mean by starting all over, I mean starting all over in terms of my mental framework, my psychology, you know. So, because in the past few days, guys, I've been, well, past few months, let's say, I've been putting myself in unnecessary pressure, you know. And I was unaware of this. So, right, like, right now, it's, 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 like recently when I found out that ah this is happening, I should stop it. You know, so yeah, I mean the past few months I've been like putting myself in unnecessary pressure. Um in terms of like trying to speed up my my, my process, trying trying to speed up my my journey, you know. So and I was unaware of this. So um it's only two days back I came to a conclusion whereby I need to reset my mind. I need to reset my psychology. Cause um I believe um technically, like in terms of technical analysis, I'm moving different, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I know my technicals really well. I'm not gonna lie. When I realize that I I am where I wanna be in terms of technical analysis. So as you guys know, I trade the Falcon strategy. And um I follow Falcon on on I follow Falcon on on Instagram, right? So he tends to post his analysis, right? So there was this one day, it actually happened two times in January. There was this one day I analyzed the market in the morning, right? Okay. Then later on in the day, I watched um Falcon one of uh, Falcon story, right, on Instagram. Then he was watching the same pair as I, right? I realized that the analysis is the same, right? Okay, that happened one time, right? The second time, it was on the same pair, same analysis. And I analyzed before I saw his story. That's when I realized that, that okay, I'm getting the, you know, in terms of technical analysis, I'm getting the. And I'm right now, guys, the way I'm so confident in my technical analysis, you, you could just give me a chart. Well, let's talk about currency pairs because I only trade currency pairs, right? You could... Give me a currency pay and I'd, I'd analyze it for you guys. All right? I'd analyze it for you. And um, I'm to that point where I know what I'm doing when I'm analyzing. I like last year, I used to analyze not knowing what I'm doing. Right? So right now, when I stop into the charts, I know what I'm looking for. I know what, what, what I want in the market. Right? Okay, I'm there technically. It's fine. But the problem is, my psychology right i knew it was my psychology so as i said um in january there were two times where my analysis was say was the same as falcon fx but then going to the end of the month falcon himself was 10 percent up on his uh capital right and i was in drawdown so i, was, I stood there by myself i'm like okay we analyze the same we want the same things, we see the same thing. But then why am I in Drawdown and why is he in profit? I then came to realization that it could be my psychology, right? So he made a video about him taking like two trades in, in, a, in a week, one trade in a week. Then if there's no opportunity, he wouldn't trade. Now that was my problem. That was my problem, my psychology. You know, there's many things that I lack like that I want to fix. And I'm going to tell you guys about it. I like patience. That's one thing I realized. I like patience. Right? I'm exposed to a lot of FOMO. If you don't know what FOMO is, FOMO is fear of missing out. Right? I'm exposed to FOMO. Right? Then I feel like, I sometimes feel like, um, in order to become a trader, you need to always trade. Right? That, that was the mental framework that I had. Right? You, you need to trade to become a trader. That's what I thought. 
but then I was like, okay, my psychology is not okay because uh, Falcon is 10% up for the month and I'm like close to 5% throwdown for the month. But we use the same strategy. I'm like, nah, I got to fix my psychology, you know. So as I said, I was struggling with patience, right? So one of the things Falcon teaches uh, in his courses is we like we focus three or more possible scenarios that could play out on that particular pair and price, right? Okay. And he says one of your rules, your plans should be trade what you focused in, right? Fine. I focus three or more possible moves, right? That if one of those moves happen, then I'm taking a trade. Then it, it takes a while, it takes a while. Then I'm I'm starting to become impatient. Right, I'm starting to become impatient. I want to enter the trade. Like I see the price is shooting up. Like I so want to be in the trade because I'm struggling with fear of missing out. FOMO, right? I always want to be in the trade. Like for the past three weeks, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been doing my weekly report, right? If I show you my weekly report, it's crazy, guys. Like. I could take up to five trades per week. And four of those trades hit stop loss. Right? Then one of those trades probably hit break even. Right? And that became a problem to me because I could see, it, okay, I'm over trading. Then the next week, I'd still do the same thing. Right? So I had to come to the conclusion whereby right now I'm starting all over in terms of my mental framework and my psychology, right? Because the unnecessary pressure I've been telling you guys about, I feel like, I felt like, um, okay, I started, I started like understanding the strategy properly, like I would say this January, this past January, right? Then I was like, okay, because I thought technical analysis is all you need, right? Okay, I had my technicals on point. I was like, okay, I'm going to make it this year. That's what I told myself. I'm gonna make it this year. Um, as days went by, went by, I keep on catching losses on top of losses on top of losses. I wonder to myself, why is this happening? Because I know my technical analysis, right? Hence the situation of Falcon catching ten percent and me being like almost five percent in drawdown, right? So I had this thing of like trying to speed up my process. Right. I was trying to have this this like smooth journey. I mean, we all want a smooth journey, right? But then what is the likeliness of that happening? It's very unlikely, if you could ask me. So um right now, guys, I'm just resetting my mind, like taking a step back, and I'm really analyzing my situation. Right. So um I don't know, guys, I'm just I'm just in a different state of mind, right? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm going to keep telling myself, um, right now you're in that phase whereby you're still learning, right? Because the problem with me, after understanding the strategy, I felt like, okay, now is the time to earn, right? Only to find out there's a lot of things to learn, guys. I mean, if you want to go to, if like people, people that go to school, like to varsity, right? to uni um their course could be like four years five years for them to be in polo and start earning right why do i think i step into to like i step into this kind of industry then want to become like want to earn within a year like thinking about it now it doesn't make any sense i mean this profitable traders and, I, and i'm talking about the real profitable traders i'm not talking about your gurus who gets money from the signals that they give you guys. I'm talking about the real traders out there, guys. You know who the real traders are, right? Like, watching the stories, the documentaries on YouTube, what they have in common is that it took them, like, years to become profitable. Some it took three years, some it took four years, some it took two and a half years, right? But the question I ask myself right now is why am I trying to become successful in a year? Right? 
who do i think i am to become a su- successful a successful forex trader within a year right i'm not gonna lie it's possible but what what is the likeliness of that happening first of all i don't have a mentor a proper mentor i'm not in any um 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 falcon communities i'm not in the falcon communities like i don't have someone to really guide me i'm really by myself on this journey right why do i think i'm going to become successful in a year right i mean falcon uses uses one uh, uh, this example he says let's say you're going f- uh, for a road trip from england to scotland right what are the likeliness of you not running into traffic highly unlikely right what what are the odds of the journey from england to scotland being like traffic free what are the odds of the journey from england to scotland all the traffic lights being green it's highly unlikely right so comparing that to my situation why do i why do i want to have such a, a, a smooth journey why don't i want to have uh, delays because those traffic traffic from england to scotland you're gonna run into it that's eventually got that's eventually gonna happen the traffic lights are gonna stop you like it's kind of a delay right it's kind of it's gonna stop you it's gonna delay you and um but that that won't stop you to arriving to your destination all right it's just gonna delay you for a bit so why do i want to have a smooth journey and um why do I why do I want to have a smooth journey and become profitable in a year? Think about it now; it doesn't make any sense. So I had to sit down and think to myself, "Ooh, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought." And for you beginner traders out there who are watching this video, um, guys, trading isn't easy. Forex trading isn't easy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This thing is a whole it's a whole different ball game, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is this is probably one of the hardest things I had to encounter in my life. But I'm gonna enjoy because I've put in so much work guys, I cannot let go now. And I'm something that promises so much, I should have known that it wouldn't be easy. All right. The problem is about forex trading. In this generation is social media social media portrays um uh trading as this easy thing you could learn for two months then you start earning and making big uh, big bucks like especially these gurus guys they were like um i've been trading i learned trading for like a year then the following year i become successful then bought a g-wagon then bought a house i bought my, I bought my mama house i bought my sister house like it makes it look so easy right especially with the people who go full margin on their trading they could like deposit probably one thousand dollars and go full margin then they post their profits but what they don't post is their losses that's crazy so they make it as if they have a hundred percent strategy strike rate right like the way social media is portrayed on 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 social media it could be it can be kind of misleading it is misleading matter of fact it is misleading like when i saw my first video about trading it was back in grade 9 20 i think 2021 yes um obviously we were attracted by these cars the the money and stuff so that's how i got hooked on this right as i stepped into it um like when I, I was learning about it since 39, but then I'm talking about like being on a consistent level. I started it in 2022, December. Yes, December. Uh, no, nah, I started learning about trading. I started knowing about trading in 2020, right? Then I started being consistent with it. 2022, December. I was doing grade 11. Yes. Um, so, yeah, man, that's when I started to really take this seriously it was until last year probably mid mid year when i 
when I when I realized that this is not gonna be easy. This is not gonna be easy. But then I still lied to myself, thinking, okay, this year I'm gonna learn, then next year, which is this year I'm gonna earn. I lied to myself, guys. So this is to show to you beginner traders who are watching this video. Um, guys, this is not easy. I'm not gonna lie. This is not easy. So right now I'm in a I'm in a stage where I'm trying to fix my psychology because in terms of technical analysis, I am where I wanna be. And um, yeah, guys, like it's I'd advise you guys to really like um trust the process, right? Which is what I'm doing right now. Trust the process, right? So I would say progress like uh, 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 go forward instead of standing one place because one thing i can tell you about me guys i'm not the same as i was last year in terms of trading i am not the same so which means i've proceeded to the next stage right i am not the same that's one thing i can tell you guys i am not the same last year i was analyzing and i couldn't see anything on the charts not gonna lie i couldn't see anything on the charts right now I know what I'm looking for. You see, right now, as I'm wait, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm just still waiting for a setup to happen. I analyzed the market. I have three pairs on watch today. I'm not gonna bother uh, 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 reanalyzing, thinking I'll see something different. I already, I already know what I'm looking for. The problem is my patience. I need to get, like, I need to get that type of patience whereby I could wait for a setup for days, for days. You know, like, like um, a few months back, like without a setup. For a week, I would get so 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 upset. I would get so upset. I'm not gonna lie. So right now I'm in a stage where I'm reframing my mind. Right, that this is not a get rich quick scheme. That um, this is gonna take a lot of time and hard work. So I'ma just wrap it up here, guys. So I shared my two cents, you know. So I hope beginner traders who are watching this. I hope you 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 really understand what I'm saying, and um I don't really honestly speaking I don't really think this is gonna change your your framework guys for the beginner traders because as I, as I was starting off I I used to watch videos like this and um I wouldn't I wouldn't feel anything and I wouldn't be changed right so I'm honestly I'm not expecting you guys to change but then I did my part I warned you guys about this kind of industry this is not easy. So wanna take a lot of hard work. Um, when they say ninety percent of traders fail, they being honest. They being honest. Ninety percent of traders do fail, right? Most of the traders that trade, like starting off, they stop at they stop where I am right now. But I'm gonna keep going. That's what I. That's what I'm telling myself. I'm gonna keep going. I'm never gonna stop. You know. So yeah, guys, I shared my two cents, and I'm just gonna wrap up this video here. So. Yeah, man, and be sure to follow my Instagram account. It's at official.balotrades. I'll leave the links in the description. And I hope you really learned something from this video. So, start for the waste of time, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.